Hello, I wanted to show you how to edit other games. Obviously, you can play other games. If you go to scratch.mit.edu, get signed in. Signing in is an important thing because if you change a game, you want it to actually save what you've changed. So to get to the main page, you can just click on the little scratch icon. Then I suggest, obviously, you can, you can do any of these that you want. I suggest going down to what the community is remixing and choosing one of these games. So I don't know what any of these are, but let's say you click on one of them and you're like, hey, that's a really cool game. You can click on it, you can play the game. It'll start, you can, oh, this one actually seems pretty cool. So we click and I guess it follows the mouse, okay. So say we wanna change something about this. We wanna make it your face flying around up here. You can click see inside and what that's going to do is it's going to open up all the coding. Now, once you've played around uh, through that tutorial, you should learn that, hey, there's a lot of other cool stuff that we can do. So if you click on, uh, for instance, the asteroid, I can click on costumes, and here's a picture of the asteroid. And so say instead of that, I don't want this as the asteroid, I would like something else as the asteroid. You can even take a picture of yourself. Uh, I can't do that right now because I'm running my camera, but you can take a picture of yourself or you can really choose anything you want. So maybe I, I want uh, this little girl in space instead. So now if I get rid of it, and we'll see if this works. Let me get rid of these pictures. Now when I'm playing, oops, now when I'm playing, the asteroid should actually, wow, that's really not working well. Well, whatever. Okay, there you see, there's a bunch of girls floating in space now. So you can change these things. You can change a lot. You can go in, you can you can edit the way things act by looking at the code, trying to figure out, well, why does it move the way it does? Um, you can play around with them. Really, really cool things. You can even use this thing called the backpack and you can copy the entire code. So maybe you really want to put this character in your own game. You can click and you can drag that into your backpack. And now when you go to your own design, it'll be saved there. Now, in order for any of this, these changes to save, you need to click Remix, okay? Now, I also wanted to show you where you can find a lot of other cool stuff. So I would suggest also doing this. Go to File, New. I would click down here, Add Extension. There's some pretty cool extensions. One, uh, you, it can use the video from your webcam, and you can control things by like touching parts of the screen. You can add sounds. You can do a lot of different things in here. Uh, I haven't played much with Translate, but you can play around with that. Um, when you click on it, it just gets added over here, and now you'll see, hey, it sees me, and I can even make it so it interacts. And I'm not going to get too much into that because play around with it. You'll you'll figure it out. There's also these tutorials. If you click on tutorial you'll see there's a bunch. There's like, uh, I would suggest, obviously you've done the Pong one already, but animate a name is pretty cool. You can make a chase game. Video sensing, if you're interested in seeing how you can get the video to do things, video sensing would be a good one. Um, recording a sound, there's a bunch of them. So play around, have fun with it. This is for you. This is for your knowledge. Um, you don't have to hand in anything other than the Pong game, but I hope you really enjoy this, that you can use your time to uh, learn some cool stuff. So have fun and then feel free. You can, you can share these games, but remember once you've edited them. So once again, if I go in, if I go in and I'm changing a game, so you clicked on a game, whichever one it is. I apologize if you hear my dog running around. You're going to click see inside. And if you decide, hey, I want to change this game, you need to click remix. That will save it into your folder. So let me show you. If you click remix, now if I click here and I go to my stuff, you'll see that there's actually a copy of that. If you start getting too many copies, you can delete them as well. Okay. Awesome. Well, I hope that that this is worth your time. I hope you're enjoying it. Have fun with it. It should be fun. Sorry about those Chromebooks being a little choppy in the game creation. I know they're a little slow for it, but yeah, I know you're going to do well. So enjoy.